Hi, welcome to The Last Cask, and uh, it's David Mason here with another review on the Redbreast, all the way from the Emerald Isle. Yes, Irish pot still whiskey. So what is Irish pot still whiskey? Very similar to malted Scotch whiskey. However, this is made with malted and unmalted barley. Yeah, as opposed to malted barley for Scotch whiskey. Redbreast um, was originally uh, marketed around about 1903 by Gilbees, um, who used the distillate from the Jameson Distillery um, on Bow Street. Yeah, um, it was then later, I think around about the 1980s, Jameson acquired the Redbreast brand. Um, but go back a wee bit to 1971 when. Jameson and all the distilleries in Dublin moved down to Middleton in County Cork, such as Powers, Redbreast, Jameson, Greenspot. Um, they're all together now, Paddy's I think as well, um, under the Middleton um, distillery. And all these brands now fall under the Perno Ricard group. Okay, a little bit of history there. So what about this little number? This is um, unlike like the 12 year old Redbreast. This has um, been bought together under the Bodegar Lustau in Spain. So it's been finished in sherry casks. Anyway, let's have a look on the bottle and see what it says. Ooh, nose. Rich infusion of dark fruits, prunes, dates and figs with licorice, marzipan, toasted oak and aromatic spices. The taste is silky smooth, pot still. Mm. Assertive spices balanced with richness of the sherry finish and contribution of fresh Spanish oak. Um, it is one of my favourite, um, as many are. Um, oh, and we're joined today by... Robin, yes, he's helping us out. Hey, Robin, doesn't say a lot. Sherry oak. Okay, so there we go. Color and viscosity. Nice golden amber. And yeah, I would say that was quite rich and oily on the nose. Mm. Dark sherry fruits. Dates and figs. Sultanas, rich sultanas. Yeah, you've got that sort of rich toasty oak in the background a little bit of marzipan there as well nice gentle soft spices not prickly at all remember this is um, triple distilled so typical of Irish pot still whiskey it's very creamy great starter whiskey if you're heading out onto the whiskey journey I always say, go for the Irish whiskies. They're very smooth, very palatable, very creamy on the palate. Mm. Mm. Silky, smooth and opulent. Typical of the pot still character, spiciness coming through, all that sherry oak. Mm, it's a little bit drying, it's got some tannins in the back, which I'd expect from a sherry cask finish. Mm, and finishing is so a lot of assorted spices still got some of that sweetness going on there still a little bit drying 
it's not as creamy as the 12 which I've had um, this is far more intense because of the Bodegal Lustau sherry cask finish which I like um, I'm a sherry fan in terms of the maturation and finish of, of whiskey but this is a fine example and I think this is a little bit of a step above the 12 year old in my opinion it gives you something different um, whereas the 12 I think is more creamier a lot more smoother this has the smooth elegance of the red breast but if you want something with a little bit more spice and punch then the uh, the Bodegal Lustau sherry cask finish is for you anyway thank you for listening and in true Irish fashion slancher <laughs>